Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today I'm doing another full face trying different products. This is different because in this one I am only featuring two brands. So if you like the way this turned out then keep watching. So I'm doing a voiceover this time. So this is Colourpop's concealer in medium 30 and I love this. Next is foundation. I'm very surprised. It looks good. No dry patches. Hasn't rubbed off the nose at the end of the day. And I've never used um, Benefits products before. So I was surprised because I thought they were just over heights, but I can see what the deal is with them. I've used them all throughout the video. Next is powder. I do not, not I'm not a fan of that powder. Next contour. I use um, Rodeo Drive from Colourpop. And just do that all over the face. I love the little gifts. Then I use High Beam from Benefit, and it's nice, but it's just not for me. I'm not really a fan of liquid highlights at the best of times, and it just didn't give me that that glow, I'm glowing from the gods look that I am normally into. But for an everyday like person, it'd be good. I mean, no, it's nice. It's not me nice. Next I use Colourpop's, I don't even know how to say it, it's Sivu's play, but it's it's their white, the whitest um, highlight they have there, and I, I'm a sister, I love it, I've always wanted a white highlighter, and it's cheap. Next I use the brow pencil, the original one, because I know they've got a new one at Boss Brown Out, but this is in Banging Brunette, I use the, the gel that goes with it. It gives it a natural look, it tastes a bit longer than other brow gels I've had to use, but it gives it a natural look. It matches my colour, it's not too dark, not too light. And I just brush, 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 brush it out. Give it a little tail. Look how natural that is. Next, oh my god, those are all the Colourpop shadows I've collected. I took I think it was wait for you just all over the lid So next I take the Colourpop concealer and try to do a cut crease but also couldn't really bother to do one so it wasn't the best. Then I took, I think it was Double Date, it's a lovely pinky purple shimmery colour, I love it. The eyeshadows are just so pigmented and they're great for the price which is why I bought myself like two whole palettes. Next I got the Bare Real Eyeliner. I wasn't really a fan of it. It's quite good. I'm like I get the hype, but I find the rubber so annoying. It's a, like messy to um apply because the eyeliner gets all around the rubber and then I can't draw my line. And I feel like I've got no control because it comes out like a slant. So I don't know if I'd like use that again or if I ran out, I'd like buy it again. I wasn't really a fan of it. It's nice, especially if you like that thin look. Maybe I need it because I do my eyeliner quite thick. It's pretty, I don't know. I just have to use it, but it takes forever, so I won't be using that on like a daily basis when I'm in a rush to leave the house. But I mean, it's pretty. Mascara. This mascara is good. I get the height, but it made my lashes so so clumpy, so I'm not a fan. I have to see about that one. Next is Colourpop's Moir 
um, Match.com collaboration. I did not like this. It made my lips so, so dry. I've never experienced this with a Colourpop lipstick before. Okay, guys, now it's just the end of the video. And if you liked it, then like and subscribe. And comment down your thoughts and feelings. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.